I hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. I came into the this pulpit. That I'm gonna tell you, uh, the Holy Spirit. That you love, you need to receive the Holy Spirit. That I'm gonna tell you now. I'm telling you. The, because uh, Sunday, Sunday is uh, Pentecost, day of the Pentecost, Holy Spirit came. That's why I'm preaching now. You, you, this, this is not coincidence that you are watching my message today. Oh, hallelujah. I, I, I believe this is not an accidental, not accidental event that you are listening this message that you're going to be blessed. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Amen. At the, this time of the year, almost two thousand years ago, miraculous, momentous events occurred. The New Testament church was founded on the feast of Pentecost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. What made this occurrence so astounding? The Bible says, chapter 2, you know, it is recorded that the circumstance of that day were truly in a dramatic, dramatic event had happened on day of Pentecost which was is Sunday. Oh, Holy Spirit came to the full of Jesus Christ. It was uh, the giving of God's Spirit to the full of the Jesus Christ. As he had promised, Jesus Christ promised people you go to heaven. According to John fourteen sixteen. I will ask my father. He will send counsel, Holy Spirit, help. In my name, he will be with you forever. Hmm? All right, before I, I'm going to tell the Holy Spirit, I'm going to tell about uh, the Spirit. We must know 
Fourthly, the concept of spirit. We must first consider the word spirit as it is used in the Bible. Just what is spirit and what does that word mean? We have to know. Hebrew, Hebrew word Luca and Greek Punuma, it used uh, several hundred times. Understanding this word is crucial to understanding the Holy Spirit. That is, I am going to explain to you. Ruka means breath, air, strength, and wind, and also spirit. What is the meaning of the Greek word pneuma? It is also spirit, which is like wind is uh, invisible, unmaterial, and powerful. Oh, are you still with me, my friend? It is used 385 times in the King James Version, and is usually translated spirit or small spirit. All right, uh, I, I want to tell you the, what Jesus Christ said. According to Gospel John 20, chapter 21 to 23, Jesus Christ appeared among the disciples uh, after he showed his wounded hand and side to disciples. And he said, he said, listen, receive the Holy Spirit. While he breathed, he Breathed. Hmm? That is, uh, uh, as I told you, the breath. We s see the same connection between the spirit, breath and the wind continued, continued in the New Testament. Jesus Christ made this connection himself. You know, the, Jesus said to the disciple, My Father in heaven will send comfort and help, which is the Holy Spirit. Here he repeated that promise. Oh, listen, my friend. He also demonstrated the nature of the spirit that he would send. 
It would be like uh, a breath, like a wind, something they could see. But they would be influenced by its power, you know. And this is indeed what happened on the day of the Pentecost. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. What is the Holy Spirit that came on the Christ to follow that day? What did this things happen. What should we learn from those strange occurrences? To understand the events, we must first understand what the Holy Spirit is and what it is not. To grasp, to catch it that we must understand what the Holy Spirit does to the believers. Huh? Jesus said his followers, as I told you, receive the power. Receive the power. Bible say, uh, Acts 1 chapter 8, you shall receive the power when Holy Spirit comes, you will be my witness in the Jerusalem, Judea, the Samaria, and to the end of the world. You are the witness of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You should, you should show up what you had received, the word and your experience by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit let you understanding make wonderful things you never ever experienced before. Now you have a Holy Spirit. That I will tell you. Hmm? Oh, when the Holy Spirit came upon them and directly connected with that power, power, I'm talk, still talking about the power of the Holy Spirit, power would be the work of the being witness of Him. Hallelujah. As I told you, you are witness of Jesus Christ. Christ it made clear that Holy Spirit is connected with the power. The Greek word translated power is dunamis. Dunamis. It is power translate the power, mighty work, and strength, miracle. It is the same Greek root from which we get the modern English word like dynamite. Dynamite. Hmm? Holy Spirit is like a dynamite that explodes in you inside and go into the bamboo, <laughs> bamboo, bamboo to destroy the devil's stronghold. Oh, hell! That Holy Spirit is going to work if we pray. Holy Spirit, which is in you. Explode like a dynamite. That is what it means, dynamite in English. Hallelujah. 
the spirit in aim to Jesus follows to, to be like him, to have the same power available to us, to you, that Jesus had in God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I have amen, my brother and sister? Thank you, Lord. Okay, I want to tell you the, the next step. God's Spirit provides another kind of the power as well. Paul tells us, the First Corinthians 2, chapter 9 to 12, listen, my, my friend, no eyes had seen, no ear had heard, no mind had perceived. Listen, listen. God, God, whom you love, I love, has prepared for you who love him. Love him, love Jesus Christ. Prepare the what? Prepare the Holy Spirit. Who is going to walk in you? You got to believe. I'm telling you. Hmm? Uh, huh? I'm not talking and I don't want to talk anything except the Holy Spirit I'm speaking now. Hmm? God's Spirit is the source of divine revelation. Oh, I love, I love this word. Oh, you don't want to hear that. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm going to tell you again. God's Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is the, is the source, source, I say the source, source of divine revelation. I love that. The power, the power by which human can understand. I, I said, uh, uh, First Corinthians two chapter nine. Oh, I, I, I gonna let me finish it, this this passage. So, so uh, the Holy Spirit gonna walk inside you, and you may understand that God has given freely to you, the gift of God. You may understand the gift of God by the Holy Spirit. That, that passage means. Huh? And uh, one more thing, Holy Spirit going to work. It inspired, inspired the original writer of the Bible. Before his death, Jesus told his disciples that this process would continue, that God's Spirit would help them understand the things they had never grasped before. God's Spirit, the Holy Spirit, did exactly what Christ said it would. The, the disciples grew in spiritual understanding. And with that understanding, four Gospels in the New Testament were written by the Holy Spirit. I'm going to tell you the, the scripture concerning this matter. Second, Second Timothy 3, chapter 16. All scripture were inspired by the Holy Spirit. It is useful. The teaching, correcting, and rebuking, 
and and training in righteousness. You know, it's evident from the gospel account that disciples lack the spiritual understanding why this event was taking place. Listen, listen, my friend. It wasn't until many years later, you know, you understand what I'm talking about. After they had received God's Spirit, Holy Spirit, and been converted, that they came to understand the significance of Christ's teaching that Jesus Christ had preached before. Then they got the Holy Spirit and started the work of God that God gave assignment to write down the gospel, the book of gospel. Hallelujah. You know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Hmm? That I'm talking to now. So, he inspired the apostles through his spirit, I know you, you are inspired it, listening my message now by Holy Spirit. Huh? I know, I believe you are, you are going to lift up. Hallelujah, you are inspired by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, amen. Yes, we need absolutely. Hmm? Like uh, apostle, like uh, early church. Oh, I gotta hurry up. Another one thing I'm gonna tell you. This is a Holy Spirit to bring to remembrance, memory. This remembrance by the Holy Spirit also had to do with the work of God's truth and the way of life you are living now in this crazy world. We need. We need this Holy Spirit that overcome this crazy world to fight the devil. Oh, my, 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 hallelujah. Oh, oh, help me somebody. Oh, come on somebody, help me. I need somebody who would give shout with me now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Oh, give God glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, I... So we need, you need, so we can make a right choice because Holy Spirit leads you, guides you, every area you are going to leave this world. Good choice by the Holy Spirit you can take. Hmm? And the the power, Holy Spirit, the power lead to something <coughs> crucial in the lives of the, those given God's Spirit. People will be changed by the Holy Spirit, you know. God's Spirit, Holy Spirit, indeed plays a vital role, vital role in our lives. It dwells 
Holy Spirit. You got the Holy Spirit. Don't tell that I don't have a Holy Spirit. Don't tell that the work of the Holy Spirit doesn't work. Don't say like that. You got to believe. Holy Spirit is in you and working in you. Dwells in you. Hallelujah. You got to believe. This is a fact. Don't deny that Holy Spirit is working in you. It dwells with the Christian, all who believe. Allowing a miraculous transformation to take place. Paul talks about uh, this transformation in Romans 8, as you know. Again, emphasizing the two ways to life. I'm going to have to read uh, this Romans 8. I want you to read uh, this Romans 8 chapter in your house uh, in, in, in carefully. So you understand what I said now. And uh, you understand what spirit is dwells in me and working in me while you are reading Romans chapter 8. All right. God's spirit enables the ultimate change to take place for Carnal, selfish human being, I was. I was a selfish man before I believed in Jesus Christ. Very bad guy. But now, look at me. I changed. That's why I stand here. So I'm going to tell you. I, 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 I thank you, Lord, give me opportunity to, to gospel to you the, who uh, listening this message. Especially Holy Spirit message. Oh, I'm thankful to the Lord. You are blessed. I believe you are greatly blessed because Holy Spirit is your friend. All right. Selfish human being to listen, listen. Listen careful. To become, become transformed in their mind and thinking in this life, each man's life, into the God's very children, God's family. <laughs> You and me, God's family, because you are transformed by the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm talking about. Huh? Then, I, 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 I'm not finished yet. Then, to ultimately be transformed into the Immortal glory. Oh, oh, I love this word. Immortal glory. That is our goal to be reached. Immortal glory in his family at Jesus Christ return. Second coming. Yeah. Let me tell you. We are uh, really, really still live in crazy world, last world, you know? Let me tell you. By the way, I want to tell you something. As you know, these days, I, 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 I would never think about that. I never heard before in my life. Recently, transcend gene, you know, change it. Gene, man want to woman, woman want to man, bathroom, school, 
is told two bathroom, three bathroom. The boy going to use woman bathroom because he insisted that he is a woman. Do you know that? South North Carolina, Virginia, it's going to happen. Oh, I can't believe that. The last days, like Sodom Gomorrah. Huh? All right, we, we need the Holy Spirit. That's why I'm preaching now today. Hallelujah. It's a time, real time. We stand up, speaking up, packing up. We boldly speaking up this world, especially this country, which is getting down the spiritually, down. We indeed stand up the preaching the gospel with the spirit of spirit of the truth. Holy Spirit is the spirit of the truth to the people who who going to this twist of the word of God. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's time. We got your family. Boldly preaching this word to the all people, certain and hungry in this country, all, the, all over the world. Hallelujah. Because not you, Holy Spirit is working in which is working inside you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I love this job. Hallelujah. I I pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, that is my child. I love you. So God loves you. Thank you, Lord. See you later. Bye-bye.